Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 21. So on our last challenge, I showed you how to use your iPhone to scan a document straight from your notes section. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually send that document. We, in the last challenge, we emailed it to ourselves. I want to show you how you can actually send that directly into your DocuSign room. So in order to do that, we're going to want to click on our opportunities and find the opportunity that we've been working on. And then we're going to get into the Documents tab and go into DocuSign. By clicking on Go to Transaction, that's going to take us into our DocuSign room. So a couple of things that we want to take note of, and you probably want to write this down. You may even want to create a note in your phone with each one of the IDs for the rooms that you're working if you're going to be doing this often meaning you're going to be scanning documents from your phone to DocuSign often. Take note of this ID. You can see each one of your DocuSign transaction rooms actually has its own ID number. So once you have that ID number taken note, click on the Inbox tab at the very top here. And you're going to see that each one of us as a DocuSign user has our own unique DocuSign email. It's our inbox email address. So mine is marty.miller at mail.docusign.net. I might recommend that you actually create a contact in your phone with this email address, just so you have it easily accessible for the future. So yesterday when we were scanning that document, I showed you how to email it from your phone. And instead of emailing it to yourself, now we're gonna email a document to this actual address. Okay, so I'm just gonna test this because I can't record my phone and my Surface at the same time. We're just gonna give a test run of what that would look like if I send it from my Gmail. So marty.miller at mail.docusign.net. You can see I've done this before. And we're just gonna say test document. And I'm gonna jump in here and find a quick document to send off. <clears throat> Let's just say I'll send off this. Uh, maybe I needed to load in my flood map. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that open. I want to send that into my DocuSign room. My brokerage requires flood maps, and so I want to have that in the room. So I'm going to click on Send. And then I can actually come back to the room. And it takes a little bit of time. So typically when I do a refresh, it takes maybe a minute or two, if that, to actually have this document come in. So while we're waiting for that to come in, now, because I didn't put any specific room ID, that document is just going to show up in my inbox. However, I want to show you the second option is to actually click on Compose, send out an email, again, marty.miller, right, at mail.docusign, whoops. And on the subject line, I'm going to put a pound sign or hashtag and then the actual room number, right, so 4607. And this time I'm going to go to attach a document and let's send over uh, the CMA this time. So we'll click on Open. Because I've actually put the room number here, this one will automatically show up in our room as compared to the actual inbox. So let's give it a refresh one more time. <clears throat> now you can see here's that flood map that we sent, right? This was our first email and it sent the flood map directly into our inbox. Now I can click on this document, right? And then I can move it and it'll say select a destination. I'll say active rooms. It'll show all my rooms. I would choose Lancaster Buyer and then move that into that room. And you can see my inbox would then be empty. Now let's go back to our rooms and find that room for the Lancaster Buyer, which is the one that we were working on. And we should, at this point, actually see both documents. So let's click on the Documents tab. And here is the flood map that I just sent over. And we are waiting on the CMA. So let's do another refresh and see if we can get that CMA to show up. Like I said, it's not instant. There it is, right? There's the CMA. So it took maybe 30 seconds to a minute for that to actually show up. So that's how, combined with our last challenge, if you're using your phone to scan documents, click on that box with the arrow out of it. It'll allow you to email from your phone and you can email your inbox email address, right? and the document would show up in your inbox. However, if you put in the subject line, the number of the room, right? So the pound sign or hashtag, and then the actual number of your room, the room ID, then it would send it directly into your room.
So that's a quick and easy way to send documents into your DocuSign room for use later. You can do that just from your laptop or your desktop as well. It doesn't have to be from your phone. Uh, but that's it for today's challenge, guys. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Thanks so much.